Hi folks, hope you're doing good. So I am Pawan Kumar Edenapudi. Uh, I am a data engineering and you know, data science architect in one of the MNCs. And I'm here today in this uh, video session uh, to actually introduce you uh, the course playlist that I'm going to update you know, from now and then on Python coding for mostly engineering and uh, machine learning uh, you know, associates or the professionals out there. So uh, thanks for you know uh, sh showing your interest in this playlist and want to learn Python coding. So uh, before we actually start this first session, I just wanted to give you uh, the uh, the complete uh, you know uh, the idea behind this playlist. Uh, so uh, the idea of this playlist is to keep the playlist active and update with uh, real time videos um, when and then you know. I see something interesting and I feel like you folks have to learn something and apply on your day-to-day -day work. So um, the idea is to immediately pick that session up and create a use case for you and uh, upload the sessions for you to actually go through it and replicate it. So now let me tell you the etiquettes of this uh, you know, uh, complete session. Um, so uh, there is a dedicated uh, GitHub link for this session, which you anyway will receive it shortly. And uh, everything that I'm going to code, everything that I'm going to instruct is basically updated in the GitHub location for you to download and fork it and then uh, try it yourself. So I'm not going to teach Python like any other you know, conventional methods. Uh, the pure uh, learning of Python in this complete playlist is only through the real time use cases. So every time you see a video session, it's purely uh, we pick a real time use case and then learn the coding. I believe uh, this particular method of learning some coding is really important in this dynamic market because every now and then you have new things coming up in the market and you will have to learn it very quick. So I don't think you know learning a very conventional method is a true approach in the today's market. So that's the reason, uh, you know, this complete playlist will only have the approaches of picking up a real time use case and then how do we code it, you know, in Python is what you will be seeing throughout this. Uh, so uh, please bear with me for a couple of uh, introduction sessions. Uh, this is for purely for beginners because I wanted to cover everybody. So I'm going to just introduce you in the track one to probably a couple of sessions. It is definitely going to be very short and straight. Uh, we are only going to you know, deal with the introduction pieces of Python. But you know, uh, the complete course, the idea is to teach uh, the Python coding uh, and the version that we use is Python 3.7. And I'm very much you know, uh, uh, good and interested uh, and also want you to learn using an IDE like PyCharm. So it's one of the you know most widely used IDEs is integrated development environment uh, for Python coding. So it has got a lot of flexibility. It has ease in coding. It will help you to you know identify the syntax issues. It will help you to deep dive into you know uh, uh, the code issues, the bugging, debugging. It, the, you know the coding becomes the life of coding becomes very very easy using PyCharm. So. This is about the complete playlist. Please feel free to you know, completely avoid the introductory sessions and completely step into you know, the video session which you are really interested in in the, you know, uh, the playlist. And please remember this playlist, this playlist is you know, designed to be very, very active. I keep uh, these playlists updated with the new sessions you know, every now and then. Uh, so, I will be covering, uh, you know, the topics which are important for data engineering pieces, as well as data analytics pieces. When I say data analytics, it includes, it it will be helpful definitely for business analysts uh, and also the machine learning engineers, and a bit of web frameworks as well, like Zango and Flask, something like that. So that's the ideology. And remember, uh, there is no order for this uh, sessions in this, you know. Uh, in this complete playlist because this is purely real time on use case basis, right? What does it mean? You might see a few uh, sessions on data engineering and immediately you might see the sessions for machine learning. And then you might see in between the sessions for web as well. But you know, do not worry. Ever, you know, I start a video session, you will see the conclusion in the same session. So though the tracks of this, 
you know playlist is not planned in a sequence definitely you know after the introductory uh, sessions anything you know else in the video will be you know good to learn in the session itself uh, i'll make sure that there will not be too much of dependencies between the other sessions so that you can even if you're randomly going to a, a video you're not lost you you get what you want to get through that session is what i'll be trying to take care so that's it uh, from my side and you can subscribe to this channel and also you know uh, on the facebook to basically uh, you know get an you know continuous updates on the sessions that we are going to i'm going to upload into this playlist okay so we will quickly start up you know all the sessions are going to be straightforward no murmuring no you know uh, you know blah blahs it's directly to the point i i really and i request you to basically go and try it yourself on the your system as well so only then you know you will understand it better and you get the real you know hands on experience on python coding so yeah so that's what my you know uh, um, you know suggestion would be so let's quickly start up with this track i think the introductory for the complete playlist is very clear and i'll make sure that this is followed you know across all the tracks i'm not sure how many tracks are going to come but i'll really try to keep it very very productive and you know a real time use case basis sessions each and every session okay so let's quickly help you and I'll, I'll this session is to only give you the introduction of this particular you know uh, playlist and also help you set up in python and pycharm on your system okay so i'll take a quick help from the document instructions install instructions or txt that i have written and it's available on the git location so because uh, all my code is going to be on the git and it's available publicly so you can go and download the um, code as well so i have the directory structure inside this git so the git name is python for engineering and analytics all right so uh, you can find this git location definitely in the youtube uh, video also uh, in the description so don't to worry about it but because i'm i use git a lot i mean all the you know uh, codes are updated in the git i really advise you to go install the git on your terminal so using git you can clone my particular you know uh, uh, code base the repo onto your local system and then play around and try around yourself okay so that's what i'll I, I wanted you to do it even before you start uh, going through the next further sessions. So the immediate thing that you need to do is Python installation, and I have given also a link for the Git installation for your you know uh, ease. Uh, you can do that. And uh, for Python installation instructions, yeah, I'm going to use Python 3.7 kernel. So please go to this, you know, and especially Python 3.7.6. So go to this location, download the Python basis on your operating system. And just for your, you know, uh, information, my operating system is Mac. So whatever I'm going to show you would be on Mac. So if you are on Windows or on Linux, you know, please make sure that. Uh, you, uh, you know download your specific python bundles and also pycharm bundles and install uh, it okay so just download it and then verify that your python is fine so let me also show you on my system that my python is working fine now so uh, all right so it's here uh, uh, i'm sorry that i can't see my screen at this point of time yeah i think it's way below here yeah let me drag it up yeah it's here clear all right so i just say python 3 so it's installed and it's python 3.7 on my system this is my terminal okay so i just dragged my terminal up and it's here so you see that here yeah so if i drag it here it's all good cool so this is my terminal so you see the terminal uh, with python 3.7.6 and that's what i'm going to use all right this is how we can verify that it's available and then along with python 3.7 you will have a utility called pip pip is basically uh, is a utility for python to install the modules that are available in the open source market you know so you can call it as uh, you know uh, a repo of all the modules that people develop because python is an open source platform uh, people can develop, uh, uh, you know, actively the modules and they can make them available for you and you can just install those modules and reuse them. That's one of the reasons why Python is, you know, a very successful coding platform today. And it has got the largest coverage of, you know, uh, use cases uh, comparatively to any other programming language today. All right. Um, I missed letting you know the Python is a scripting language mostly. 
but people also we also code uh, with respect to the objects and it can also be used as object oriented language but remember python is mostly widely used as a scripting language so when i say scripting language that means you know the code runs in such a way you know it executes line by line code in sequence okay very similar to shell script if you have ever you know uh, wrote a shell script yourself you would understand it better what is a scripting language all right then i prefer you to install pycharm so whatever console that you're seeing on the screen now the black one is pycharm by itself so i prefer you to basically you know install pycharm and then you know uh, pycharm is one of my favorites of uh, ides like integrated development environment it basically helps you uh, to code to make, to simplify your you know coding and it supports your coding so you will see that slowly as and when in all the tracks that you're going to you know uh, cover in this playlist i'll always use uh, pycharm and i'll also share you the tricks and pieces whenever i go um, you know showcase any real time use case with you in that session so go to this website jetbrains is a company who developed this pycharm ide just download your pycharm for your system and then you know make sure that you know you have your you know uh, interpreter set to python 3.7 how do you do that so just go to the preferences on your pycharm so if you just open the preferences of pycharm it would look like this so i'm sorry for that so this would be their preferences just go to you know the um, project and then project interpreter make sure that interpreter is 3.7 okay so that's what you should do in case if you have multiple python versions on your system okay so you would be wondering you know how do i open a project in pycharm right so let me close this up and i think that is it from my side on the setup and installation because i'm not showing you how to install anything because today the websites uh, python.org or jetbrains.com it has got super easy you know as steps to install it yourself but i would start from the scratch you know how do you basically clone it yourself uh, you know the code that you can clone it yourself and open that as a project okay that's what i'm going to do for you so let me show that up here uh, so let me close this pycharm so uh, before that uh, let me go to the readme file of this uh, to get the github location of my repo so that it becomes easy for me so let me show you that how to open up a project in pycharm after you install okay so i'm quitting my python page here for now and then i wanted to get into my terminal so uh, let me get up here so on my local system uh, probably i am on my home directory on my mac so i just say git clone and this one don't worry this location is given in the github as well and it will be made available for you in this uh, you know um, Uh, youtube description this video description as well so i'll just say clone you see uh, it's cloning the complete code for me on my local system so if i just say ls f n l t r see here i have python for data analytics so this is my code base and uh, this is where you are going to get all the documents that i have for you uh, all the codes that i have got for you uh, for all the sessions okay so let me open up this project in my pycharm as the project so then you get you know basically you know know how to open up a project so when you open up a project uh, probably i should close this project which is already there then it becomes easy for me so i just closed it so when you open up a pycharm project you know if you are the first time installed you might get the theme based you know uh, you know instructions on the beginning you can ignore you can go through it you can complete but once you complete those you know startup instructions you will be on this page so you can just either say create new project or open remember we just downloaded it from git right so for me it is open okay so i just open up a you know project what is my project so on my home directory i cloned this project right so i just say open that's it so now you are good that you have started your own project inside your uh, you know pycharm So this pycharm on the left hand side you have a project pan and you have this instructions you have tracks etc so this is how you know you have to start up a project and as i told you once you open up a project it's very important for you to make sure that you are using python 3.7 as an interpreter so just go to the preferences of your pycharm or the settings of your pycharm 
and then go to this uh, you know project interpreter just click on this and then make sure if this project interpreter is 3.7 or not so that is mandatory for you okay so i think uh, with this you are good to basically start with the other sessions other tracks of this playlist so i'll quickly you know uh, at this point don't worry about it as i told you that this particular git repo is a very active git repo and you will have the directories for each and every tracks that is going to be uploaded in this git repo so at this point you have only two track directories in this repo but as we keep getting you know uh, the video sessions of each tracks you definitely have the content in this uh, git repo and you can clone it i'm very sorry i'm not covering up uh, git related basic trainings in this uh, sessions um, i advise you in case if you're very new to git just you know google some you know a basic git command and what is git it's a version control management system so just just play around the git and see how comfortable are you so that you know cloning my uh, repo at least to your local system should not be a problem for you in the future all right playing around on your system it's up to you how do you do it but definitely if you want to understand what am i doing on my system uh, not now and even today uh, tomorrow in a new session it should not be very new to you okay so i think that is it for my uh, you know from my side for this session i call it track zero it's only to introduce you to the playlist and also set up help you set up python and also pycharm and keep your pycharm you know ready for the next tracks that are coming up okay and uh, again uh, thanks for watching this video please subscribe this channel and you will be continuously getting uh, real time use case basis training and it's not a conventional training please do not expect uh, you know a definition of a class a definition of an object a definition of a module etc no i'm not going through a conventional mode of training at all it's purely real case uh, scenarios so i just pick a one use case for you in the session and we are going to complete that use case using the coding and i'm going to explain you how did i code in for that use case i believe in this mode of training so i hope you love that as well so yeah see you in the next session bye bye